Hi, hello everyone. Welcome again to a new video. Uh, so as part of today's video, I am going to share uh, some of the AI features that we can use in Jira. So it is going to be the part one of uh, Jira AI series. So we will look at you know some of the features which are uh, available and which we can definitely use and it will save some time for us. It will improvise the way we are using uh, Jira for different work items. So let us start. So I am using uh, one of the project which is Kanban metrics on Jira cloud. And if I click on this project just to open it. So this is a project which is using Kanban as a template. And this is the Kanban board. We have a backlog. We have selected for development column. We have in progress. We have QA and the done states. And these are the different uh, cards which are available on this board. Now to demonstrate uh, the AI features, what we will do, we will first click on create and uh, we will choose one of the work item types. So we want to create an epic and let's say we want to create an epic for online payments. And if I click on this one, let's say what it does, it has created. Now I will open this particular epic in a new tab and we can see, okay, it has created the online payments and the type is epic. Now, as part of the description, I just want to write online payments using debit card, credit card, net banking, wallets, online payments is available both on web and mobile apps. So let's say this is uh, what I can think of initially for this particular epic, like online payments, we want like uh, it has to be enabled, it has to be uh, enabled for debit card, credit card, net banking and wallets, and uh, we need like this feature in both our web and mobile apps. And if I have saved it, now how we can use it, the AI. So if you look at, you know, this particular one, it says improve epic, if I click on this one, so it says uh, Atlassian intelligence. So these are the different features that we, that we can use. Now, one of the things that we want to do is we want to improve our description. So if I click on improve description, so let's say what it does. So it has created something. If I click on replace and we will see what it is. So this is what AI has come up with. It has created an objective. Um, Okay, it says like implement online payment options for users. This includes support for debit cards, credit cards, net banking, and wallets. What is the context here? The feature will be available both on web and mobile applications. What's the scope? Like what is included? Uh, payment methods not listed above uh, that are not included. And what's the success criteria? And some of the risks and dependencies. So uh, definitely, I mean, some of these things like uh, we can use it uh, because it provides us at an epic level uh, like what this feature's objective is, what's the objective of the app, what is the context, what's the scope, and uh, so many other things, what's the success criteria. So it will save some time for us, and uh, we can utilize based on the, uh, the kind of epic we are creating. So we can key in our initial thought, we can key in some initial pointers, and we can take the help of improve epic, uh, which can help us in the generating some description. Now let us try another example. If I go ahead and create instead of epic, maybe story. And uh, I say online payment using Visa credit card. Okay, this is one of the story. And now if I open this one in a new tab and I say, okay, I will simply click on this one. And I say online payment using Visa card, Visa credit card is successful. Available on both web and mobile apps. So let's say I have saved this one. Now this is a story. It talks about you know online payment using Visa credit card. Now again, if I look at the improve story here, if you see this mark, this says like you know this is our Atlassian intelligence. And if I try to improve the description, let's see what it does. So I have simply clicked on replace. So Atlassian AI, uh, it 
knows that okay the work item type is user story so it has created a user story format it says like as a user when i make an online payment using a visa credit card i want the transaction to be successful so that i can complete my purchase as a user when i access the payment feature i want to use my visa credit card on both web and mobile apps so that i have flexibility in how i make payments it has written the context it has provided the acceptance criteria as well so we can use uh, this particular feature in improving the description for different work item types and AI knows, okay, what kind of work item type we are asking it to improve the description. So based on the epic, it will use a different template based on the story, it will use the acceptance criteria. So that's the beauty of it. And uh, let's take another example. So we have covered epic, we have covered a story. If I go ahead and maybe try to create a bug, and let's say the bug is temp password temp uh, temporary password is not sent to the user over email this is one of the bug that has been reported if i click on create and i open the bug in a new tab and i say uh, what was the bug about so i simply say this is what the bug is temporary password is not sent to the user over email now for the bug, if I use this AI feature, I say improve bug and I say improve its description. So let's see what it does. If I say replace, so this is what it has done. Now, because it knows that, you know, the uh, description that we want to improve or improvise is for the bug type, right? I mean, the work item type is bug. So here we can see that, you know, impact users are not receiving the temporary passwords by email. This prevents them for, from accessing their accounts. The expected behavior is the system should send a temporary password to the user's email address. Actual behavior is the temporary password is not being sent to the user over email and how we can reproduce it. So see, I mean, he, it has used the headers and uh, the template, which is applicable more for a bug. What's the environment, what are the workarounds, other information. So this is how, uh, you know, we can use uh, the simple AI, which is available in Jira for the improvisation. So we have uh, looked at Epic, we have looked at user story, we also looked at the bug. Now, another important thing is, let's say uh, for this particular bug, there are some comments. Uh, Okay, let's, that's one of the comment and So let's say uh, on this particular bug, uh, there are some comments and there are numerous comments. And uh, sometimes, you know, we might have seen, you know, when we are actively working in a project, uh, it may happen that on a particular work item type, there are numerous comments. Uh, there have been, you know, exchange of information to and fro. So one of the AI features is like, uh, it says summarize, right? So if I click on this one and it will bring a summary of this particular uh, bug and it will, you know, here, like what has been mentioned in the comments, what has been exchanged. So here we can see this ticket addresses a bug where a temporary password is not sent to the users by email. The issue is classified as medium priority bug in this particular project. Uh, this particular uh, person reported the bug and noted difficulty reproducing it in the dev environment. There is a request for permission access in the test environment to further investigate the bug. And also this user also highlighted a need to resolve a database access issues on the user table. So in a way, it has summarized the different comments and uh, we can see if I try to put another comment like, uh, uh, we need some okay, users and their email to this book. Let's say this is another comment that has come up. And now if I click on summarize, 
to see uh, what it does. Okay, so it has added the summary. Now it has mentioned that uh, test users and their email addresses are needed to investigate the bug. So, I mean, think about a particular work item, be it a story bug or uh, anything like, you know, which is available in the Jira, a simple card, and we have like 20 comments, 25 comments, and it may take a lot of time to go through each and every comment because it's very important for me as a member to understand what's the context of the bug, what has been done in this bug so far. So we can simply use the summarize. It will bring us a summary that we can go through and uh, we can use it. So that's pretty much about uh, this particular short video where we learned about, you know, how we can use uh, improved description for different work item types, how we can use the summarize feature for uh, getting a summary of uh, different comments available on a particular work item type. So, uh, you know, this is kind of a part one and uh, thank you for watching this video. Thank you so much.